Well, well, well. Good morning, little baby. Oh my goodness, what is this? Do we have all three babies in the bed? You look just thrilled. Glizzy teeths. The bottom lip. It's pairing like crazy. Oh, hello. It's me. Look who decided to shower and put on a full face of makeup just to go back to Triple B. Because your girl done messed up and got something wrong. So, gotta go back and fix it. But after that, it's dinner time, so I will be back on the good camera, not my phone camera, so that y'all can see what we be having for dinner. I think that's about it, girl. After that, we just gonna finish watching it because we started it. And uh, let me tell you something, like spoiler alert, if you haven't seen the new It, we have seen mm, maybe the first like 20 minutes and if you haven't seen the movie, skip to whatever timestamp I put in the description because in the first 20 minutes, there's like a horrific, well, yeah, it's pretty horrific. There's a scene where this gay couple gets the absolute shit kicked out of them. And then like five minutes after that, there's a scene of domestic abuse. And there, I get it, it's a movie, so I'm sure it's in the ratings to give you some kind of warning. There's no warning for that sort of thing. It is very shocking. I was not happy about it. It's so like uncalled for and doesn't add much to the storyline whatsoever. So if you plan on seeing that movie, please let this be your warning. There is domestic abuse and there is also physical violence against <laughs> gay people very quick into the movie. I will let you guys know when we're done watching how that goes. Also, as you know by now, if you watched yesterday's video, we had all the intentions of fully decorating our gingy houses and everything. We got probably halfway through the Oreo house and we were both just over it because <laughs> it's so bizarre the way that they had everything packaged, but also when the lobster was squeezing the icing bag to start like decorating because he had torn off a corner of it as like the piping bag, it just busted wide open. So at that point, it wasn't even worth doing any more to. But hopefully, if we do any more today, they turn out better. But at the very least, we will watch the movie and then if we end up decorating those on a different day it goes a little better i'm somewhat debating just getting a cookie decorating kit and putting everything in there because girl i don't want to do that again it was no fun and it looks like absolute garbage well hey friends welcome back to my kitchen something else fun that happens to me from time to time is that i get Influencer box boxes. So basically what this is, is Influencer is a company. They will send out uh, free products for you to try. You have to review and sometimes post about them on your social media, which is easy for me because I generally do those things anyway. So let's see what we have here in this month's box. I need some skittles. Last time I got one of these, it was just dog food. This time they're things for me. So here it is. Launch the app, review products. Oh, well, this is raise your voice and then show the world, which is about the posting things. So this is my box. It is the party prep box. Oh, how exciting. 
So in this box, I have the Semwa Clarifying Scrub or Body Lotion. I don't know because I'm not in there yet. A My Food and Family card, some chocolate, and Wet n Wild Mega Last Cat Suit Eyeshadow and Liquid Lipstick. Oh wait, no, no, no. The Mega Last Liquid Cat Suit High Shine Lipstick. How exciting. So I'm assuming this, oh my goodness, this is the uh, My Food and Family card. And it has a picture of Luscious Four Layer Pumpkin Cake. Ah, so I can unlock these recipes. So there's a recipe for a pumpkin spice roll, Philadelphia caramel pecan cheesecake, Mexican wedding cookies, which are just bizcochitos. We can call them that. <laughs> I know white people can't say it very well sometimes, but let's call a spade a spade. And then this luscious four layer pumpkin cake. So cool. I'll look into that in a bit. I also have, ooh, some Brock's milk chocolate double dipped peanuts. I Spoiler alert, I'm not a huge fan of milk chocolate, but you know who is? My mom. So I will try these. I'm not saying that I will love them, but you know, anything dipped in chocolate, generally, unless it's oranges, is better. Then we have, ooh, how pretty. Let's see, this is a metallic liquid eyeshadow from Wet n Wild. I know there's some, I guess you could call it controversy right now because Excuse you, because they are now sold in either mainland China or Hong Kong, one of the two, which requires animal testing. So while they are cruelty free as a company, basically what that means is if it's sold in that country, it's technically not, but anyway, I'm not being paid to talk about this. This was sent to me for free, so I'm still gonna give it a go. This is actually really nice. It's kind of like, I don't know if you guys can see, it's like a, a champagne-y gold kind of color. I'm actually into it. Let's. Hmm. Oh, and it's vegan. How exciting. All right. I'm gonna just crack this daddy on open because I don't want to wait. Ooh. <gasps> oh, beach. Wow. It's like, hmm. Interesting. I'm gonna have to give this a try. It's not too goldy coppery, but it's not super rose gold silvery swing either. It's just a really nice color. I'll have to give this a go. So this is the next thing. I also have the Wet n Wild Liquid Cat Suit in the shade Mauve Over Girl. So, all right, let's, let's see. This is my kind of color because if you know me but at all, you will know that I am a matte liquid lipstick type of bitch. But also, I love like purpley kind of colors. That's the color I predominantly have in my lipstick collection. I do enjoy a good rosy or peachy nude, but anything that kind of skews purple is my Ooh. Ooh. What a, what a lovely color. This is like, I can see how it may come across as like, it would make me look more pale than I already am. But you know what? I don't care. Last but certainly not least, we have the Semwa Clarifying Cleansing Scrub. This is an exfoliant, which is good because I don't particularly, well, I mean, I have the Glam Glow Daily Exfoliating Cleanser, but I don't use it daily because I often forget to wash my face before I go to the gym. I always wash after. So we shall see. It says to use two to three times per week in the evening. So I'm gonna give this a go and add it to my skincare routine and see if it does anything. I do like to have an exfoliating cleanser just because with it being a lot colder now, my skin just sometimes decides to flake off and that's no fun. So that's what was in my influencer box for this week. I'm gonna switch out my battery and then we're gonna make dinner together because what else are we to do on this fine, Wednesday evening, but cook in a full face of makeup for no good reason. So upon further investigation, because I couldn't help myself, I came to discover that that color, how is this one already dead too? Okay, whatever. So that color of lipstick is essentially, I'm gonna show you, don't mind this, this is that liquid shadow, but this is Granny Panties by Too Faced, and this is that Mauve Over Girl color by Wet n Wild. So although the Wet n Wild one is a high shine liquid lip, so that one's gonna stay shiny, I would imagine, like a gloss, 
this one is a matte liquid lip, but they're basically like the same color. They have somewhat of a different undertone, but I mean, they still pull more purple, and so I will still wear both of them. But if you were looking for an affordable option to maybe a Too Faced, or if you don't purchase from their brand for whatever reason, definitely think that would work. And look at that. It's just, I cannot deal with how beautiful that is. I can't wait to do my makeup tomorrow already. Oh, hello. Coming to you real quick because this battery's gonna die. I am having just a Trader Joe's type of dinner. We got some of the Christopher's Crunch Collection, some baby cauliflower, which I don't know if it's new. Well, I don't know if it's new, but I picked it up when I was in Santa Fe slash Albuquerque last week, and then these are crispy vegetable pouches. So I'm gonna stir fry some veggies and cook up some dinner and maybe get some clips of that if these damn batteries would stay charged because I switched them out and they're both blinking at me, so. Yay! Update from the last time I saw you guys. We have some pasta working and then here in the dietary neutral pan, we have some stir fry veggies. So what's gonna happen is I'm gonna take these veggies and in one pan I'm going to toss mine with some pasta and then in another pan if my camera would focus then in a separate pan I'm going to throw in some braised beef from yesterday for the lobster with some nudes and some veggies so we'll just have us a good old stir fry dinner. So I may have gotten a little bit carried away but this here is what we're having for dinner. This is the Asian braised beef with some nudes, green onions, and stir-fried veggies. And then this one is mine, which has the crispy vegetable pockets. And then of course some for the lobster, but mine on the main attraction. 